seniors enrolled in the Medicare Advantage program say they get more bang for their buck. Their Medicare benefits are administered by private insurers offering better coverage with less out-of-pocket cost. But it comes with a bigger price tag for the government. Anita Vogel is live in Los Angeles with a closer look for us. All right, what is Medicare Advantage, Anita, and how is it different from traditional Medicare? Well, hi there, John. Think of Medicare Advantage as more of a managed style HMO rather than a traditional fee-for-service program. There are more than 10 million enrollees across the country. That's one-fifth of all Medicare recipients. Now, we recently spoke to two cancer survivors down in the Palm Springs area, Maurice Engelman and Patricia Long. They both have Medicare Advantage and receive their treatment at Desert Oasis Healthcare Facility. That's part of the Heritage Provider Network. Now, they claim they really believe that the reason they're around today is because they received personalized, more coordinated care through the Medicare Advantage program. Take a listen. If it wasn't for my caseworker being there with me, and when I'd come home from the hospital, there'd be a nurse and a doctor come in two and three times a week, checking on me, making sure everything was healing right, checking my blood pressure, checking my medication. Doctors in the program say because they are able to provide a more personalized, coordinated, managed style of care, they can also offer better preventative care, and that's keeping seniors out of the hospital in the long run and keeping costs down. John. So President Obama wants to eliminate this program. Is that true? That's right. We've seen over the last uh, several t uh, town halls that he's attended, he has taken direct aim at Medicare Advantage. He's called it wasteful, inefficient, and he says it's really not keeping seniors any healthier. healthier. He also say, he points out that insurance companies are subsidized by taxpayers at a rate that's 14 percent higher than traditional Medicare. And he says the, the country could save about $150 billion over the next 10 years by eliminating the program. But again, doctors who support the program say they are keeping seniors healthier because they're offering that preventative care they're keeping seniors out of the emergency rooms out of hospitals and in the end they say they're actually saving taxpayers money they said the president is just wrong about this one all right we'll continue to watch that one anita vogel in los angeles thanks anita vogel is following health care for senior citizens anita Hi there, Trace. There is a debate brewing over Medicare Advantage. President Obama wants, the cut to, wants to cut the program, eliminate it altogether. He says it's too expensive and that he could save roughly $150 billion over the next 10 years. But some senior citizens say they wouldn't be alive without it, without the personalized care, the case managers, and the in-home nursing visits, all things you don't get with traditional Medicare. Some California seniors, cancer survivors, felt so strongly about it, they went to Washington to lobby lawmakers to help keep the program alive, and they say they'll go back as many times as they need to. President Obama has promised not to cut Medicare as he overhauls health care, but he has advocated cutting an offshoot program that many seniors say is vital to their health. Correspondent Anita Vogel reports on the tug of war over Medicare Advantage. I can truthfully say, if it wasn't for them, I would not be here today. 70-year-old Patricia Long and 82-year-old Maurice Engelman are cancer survivors, and both say having Medicare Advantage saved their lives. There'd be a nurse and a doctor come in two and three times a week, checking on me, making sure everything was healing right. It's far more personal, that is to say, one a patient such as myself was assigned on day one, practically, with a human being. Unlike regular Medicare, Medicare Advantage is administered by insurance companies, not the government. And case managers are assigned to everyone enrolled to guide seniors like Patricia and Maurice through what can be a confusing maze of medical options. We help them get their doctor's appointments, get them through their treatments, and really, at the same time, optimizing their performance status so that they don't end up in the hospital where the care gets really expensive. Another difference, okay, Medicare okay. Advantage oh, has okay. lower out-of-pocket yeah, right. expenses for members, yeah, but costs taxpayers as much as 14 percent more, a difference the president says we can't afford. It doesn't result in better health care for seniors. It is a giveaway 
of $177 billion. President Obama wants to eliminate Medicare Advantage to save the government that amount over 10 years. But some experts say because of its emphasis on health monitoring and preventative care, Medicare Advantage is actually cheaper in the long run. Why not have the plans compete against themselves and against traditional Medicare and let the lowest cost plan that still meets all the requirements that we have for Medicare, let the lowest cost plan win. New insurance industry research found Medicare Advantage patients ended up in the emergency room 27% less often than other Medicare recipients. But President Obama remains focused on terminating the program. And in spite of intense lobbying from seniors, some Senate committees are looking at significant cuts as well. In Los Angeles, Anita Vogel, Fox News. One of the big topics being discussed in these conversations is a program called Medicare Advantage. Now, many people on that program swear by it. They say it works better and costs them less. President Obama wants to cut it. He says it does not work any better, and getting rid of the program could save more than $170 billion in the next decade. Anita Vogel's checking the facts for us and live in L.A. Anita, tell us about Medicare Advantage. What is it? And how is it different from traditional Medicare? Well, hi there, Chef. Good question. Think of Medicare Advantage as more like a managed care HMO. Senior citizens can buy in through private insurance companies, and what they get in return is more personalized attention. They get a case manager that guides them and navigates them through all their doctor's appointments and all their care. And that's something you certainly don't get with regular traditional Medicare. All right. How, how many people would be affected here if the president does get rid of this program? Well, quite a few, Chef. There. Right now, there are more than 10 million senior citizens enrolled in the program. We spoke to two here in California, Maurice Engelman and Patricia Long. They're both cancer survivors. They say they never would have recovered without the care that they got, the coordinated care through Medicare Advantage. And in fact, they recently went to Washington, D.C. to meet with key members of Congress to lobby to try to save the program. They met with Barbara Boxer. They also met with Senator Arlen Specter. They presented them with 10,000 positions to try to save this program, but the reality is, Shepard, there are likely to be cuts. There are a number of Senate committees talking about big cuts right now.